Hello, I'm Matt Cloquel, owner and CEO of Phantom Comics, a retail comic book store chain in Washington, D.C. I see this video as an opportunity not only to talk about myself and the business I love, but to talk a little bit about why I think entrepreneurship is so important. First, I thought I'd get into a little bit of my history. Nearly four years ago, I got an itch to leave my comfortable job and strike out on my own. I had a few ideas, some business plan textbooks, and just enough free evening time to put it all together. The end result of my year-long project was Phantom Comics, which is where we're standing right now in a flagship store, well, in one section of it. Now, a comic book store is not a new idea, but our approach is. Phantom's mission statement is to bring geek to the masses. We take our subculture and tweak it just enough to make it comfortable for you norms, as we call you. There was a movie you might have seen that is a bit of an inspiration for Phantom Comics called High Fidelity. Great movie. Jack Black is absolutely brilliant. You can tell he's going to be a star. And much of the movie's plot revolved around a snobbish, unfriendly record store. The kind music experts would love, but the uninitiated would be scared of. That snobbish mentality is shared by most comic book store employees. At least it was. Um, if you don't know who Spider-Man's deceased girlfriend's father is, they don't want you around. Police Captain George Stacy, incidentally. Here's a fun fact for you. Before the 1970s, half of all comic book readers were female. Here's another one. Back in the heyday, a majority of American adults had picked up at least one comic book in the past year. What happened? High fidelity happened. The industry turned its back on the uninitiated. I saw this as an opportunity, and I took it. I put together a business plan and raised money and tackled a market that wasn't being served, a market of people who were not familiar with the industry, who just wanted to try this out, and who just wanted to be introduced to comic books. So now, People who know nothing about comics can come into my stores and find there's a whole world of entertainment they never even knew existed. We offer them an opportunity that they didn't have before. Now we're working on opening two more stores to bring more choices, even more people, and I can't wait. Personally, I love BSing with comic book snobs. I'm one myself. But nothing is more satisfying than introducing someone to comics who, until we found them, hardly realized the medium existed. This brings me to one of my favorite topics. Why is what I'm doing so important? Why are entrepreneurs so important? Let me answer that by asking you a question. And this isn't rhetorical, it's a thought exercise. Really try to think it over. Have you ever been in a situation where you think, man, why hasn't somebody ever done this? I'm sure you have, we all have. It doesn't have to be a cure for cancer. All I'm talking about is an idea that hasn't been done before, or hasn't been done right before, or hasn't been done right here before. You thought of something like that before, right? And what did you do about it? Probably nothing. And it's probably because you've got your own priorities. You have your family, your job, and you're smart enough to realize that no matter how good the idea, there's a lot of sweat and risk involved before it can become a success. But damn, you wish somebody would make your idea happen because you could really use that thing you thought of. That's why entrepreneurs are so important. We make things happen. That's what we create. Opportunities, choices, options. I don't care if you're selling comic books or starting your own microfinancing. We take parts and put them together to form something greater than the sum of those parts. Doctors save lives, artists enrich our souls, engineers build stuff. But you need an entrepreneur to build a movie studio so Pauly Shore can delight us with hits like Biodome, or to fund the hospital so hardworking doctors can do what they do best and take care of sick kids. Okay, <clears throat> so now, <clears throat> who should become an entrepreneur? Well, if you're asking me who should think and act entrepreneurially, I'm going to say everyone. Everyone should embrace that brilliant, insightful idea that comes to them while they're walking their dog or getting a snack at the vending machine. They should write it down, research it, do what they can with it, maybe pass it on to somebody else. Good ideas are a valuable natural resource. Please do what you can to conserve them. Now, if you're asking me who should be an entrepreneur, in other words, give up their livelihood and risk it all in a great big idea, my answer would be not most people. I love being an entrepreneur. When people tell me that they're thinking of doing the same impulsive thing I did, I generally try to talk them out of it. Because entrepreneurship is a vocation. It offers a lot, but it demands a lot in return. And I worry that many people don't fully appreciate that. So I implore any of you watching this who are considering being full-on entrepreneurs to temper your optimism with hard facts, market research, and enough cash to keep you going for a while. On the other hand, while there's thousands of very good reasons not to be an entrepreneur, there's only one reason that truly matters for why you should. It'll make, if it'll make you happy, then you should do it. If you can ask yourself, is this the only way I'm going to be happy by being my own boss, and the answer is a resounding yes,
and by God, you do it. Obstacles be damned, find a way. I'd like to end my discussion with a quote that's never far from my mind. There are those who look at things the way they are and ask why. I dream of things that never were and ask why not. Thank you very much for your time.